Hi guys, Frostfangs here, and welcome back once again, of course, to another Paladins video. We are going to be playing some ROM today, and we're going to be playing him with a talent that honestly might as well be a hidden talent with how little I've seen it. He's been in the game now for about uh, two weeks, and I am yet to see this talent played a single time, either on my side or against it. Even on the BTS before he released, I think I only maybe saw it once in an actual game, but even then, I don't know if I actually did. Uh, Earth Splitter and Enforcer are by far his most popular talents, and I can probably say already, uh, before playing with it, because I haven't actually played a match with it yet, that it's probably for a good reason. The heal radius isn't massive, 40 units isn't huge, I tried it out in the target practice and stuff. It's also only a 100 health heal, which isn't that massive when you consider the rest of the heals um, in the game, and it's obviously limited by what you're collecting and how close your teammates are to you, but I think the main reason why right, it's probably not that great is the fact that you don't really have a good way to buff it out. I'm not really expecting it to be that much of like a sleeper talent one uh, that people don't really know is that good, and it turns out to just be great. I think in its current state, it's probably not ideal, but I've been putting off this video for ages, so I'm finally gonna actually play with I think this is like my fifth ROM video now. I've played a lot of ROM on the channel already and hopefully you guys aren't too tired of seeing him because every video has been quite a bit different from the last one so this one probably will be as well. We do kind of have a loadout to combo with it but you can't really combo with it. I think that's the biggest problem with uh, the talent before we even get into a match with it is the fact that none of these cards are really massively help you buff that heal out in any significant way. You can't obviously increase the radius. You can't increase the actual heal of it which some people think you can but you definitely uh, can't. I tried this out in Target Practice and Triumphant Ascension and Shattered Essence do not affect that talent whatsoever. Maybe if they did, uh, then it would be significantly stronger, but currently uh, they only affect you. And basically, what these cards do, in case you haven't used them, is as you know, Khan has like a, a soul armor type thing, and this goes under his soul armor. And both of these cards aren't all that popular, and it's because they don't really scale all that crazily, and they're just not really worth rocking when you compare his other options. So if you're thinking that these buffed out the talent, they don't, but the loadout we do have that kind of combos with it because I'm expecting to be around my teammates as much as I possibly can and to try and be alive as long as we can be alive. We've got Sinister our allies, we've got Hellish Lodestones and Void Lords, a damage reduction, a damage reduction and health, and then a little bit of cooldown reduction and a small shield, and this other version of it which kind of works as well, if I'm expecting to use the right click more often, we're playing more aggressively, this can work, so instead of uh, having the max health, we have the cooldown reduction on the right click buffed out. The normal one I go for with Khan is something like that, and then the standard talent which is Enforcer, although that does get countered, I guess that is a kind of the benefit of this, is that it's countered by an item instead of like an ability, but I don't know if that's necessarily a benefit, that actually could be worse, because this does obviously get countered by cauterize, which is maybe more of a downside than being countered by CC. I'm imagining it probably is. All right, well, it looks like for game one, we've got Siege Waters Gate as the map. Shout outs to Adolf Hipster. I don't know how I feel about saying that. YouTube, please, please let this video live. Uh, Speak One uh, also, I think, called me out there, and so did AmadX1. I'm not sure if I'm saying any of those names right, but shout outs to the lot of them. That is the person who's currently on ROM. It's also the Moji, and also the person who's currently over Furia. This is an okay situation to use. With a double tank, this might actually be uh, semi-decent and also on the smaller maps it could be quite good I imagine like Onslaught Primal Court this might be a semi-decent talent because Earthsplayer wouldn't be that beneficial because the ult on that map is a bit weird Enforcer wouldn't be that great because if you're going against CC and stuff it might not be ideal so maybe in that situation it would be good our final team is Fuhrer and Khan locked in we're up against Genos, Kinesa, Drogo, Zin and Ash okay we're in an okay situation here we should we should be fine the one thing I did say originally when I looked at this talent and I played around with it a bit in the target practice is that I thought it would be good for like pre-made teams who are like really really coordinated so so you can like stick around the ROM to get your heal and stuff. And then I thought about that a little bit more and I realized that the people who are already really coordinated have healers that are good enough to heal people who are low. So that's not really uh, that good of a point. And I think that doesn't really make that much sense because a talent just for people who are playing as like a pre-made isn't a talent that I think really should exist. It doesn't really make that much sense. Obviously talents that are good for pre-mades should exist, but talents that are just only good in that situation don't really make all that much sense. I'm kind of leaning towards the cooldown reduction because we already have a Khan. I think that's a good decision here, especially considering the team we're up against. I feel like winding up that right click and getting the damage reduction should help us out. For real, I don't know. What, what are they saying? I think Tara's asking who I am. I guess you can just Google me and I probably come up, right? Let's go ahead and grab uh, Cauterizer's first item. We've got Burr Monster. We've got Stormer Bullets, although he's switching to Vortex Script, which is fine. Boom, boom, cherish uh, Luminary. Oh, that's going to be kind of sucky with the Knessa. I can't get around that thing. Eagle Eye, a Battering Ram, Worm Jets, and Smolder. I cannot walk around this map with my tab screen open while I'm trying to read. Let's uh, wind up the minigun. Hello, Knessa. You're probably going to be a pain in the ass. I'm just going to try and sit in a place that you can't really see me too easily. Oh, that's an F from the Khan. There goes the goddamn Ash. I forgot her name for a second. Let's run in on this Zin. Hello, my guy. I just got pulled out. I think it's probably fine. I think we can probably melt him here, actually. Uh, Genos is gone any second either way. This Khan's probably going to kill him. There we go. Ash is running in. Kness is at the back, which kind of sucks. There is my Q. Didn't get a heal to him, I don't think. We'll use uh, the right click again. What is my plan? I don't know. I'm just going to try and help Khan out and maybe kill this Drogos. Maybe. I'm trying to get him heals. Talent sadly wasn't really coming through there. Let's go ahead and run on the Ash. There we go. 700 damage and a stun. Nice. She's gone. We're going to regain the point. 
and it's going to be really hard for them early game because we have uh, the double tank set up. I don't know if I'm healing for anything. The only way I'm really going to be able to tell if I'm healing for very much is like the end stat, but hopefully if we can have more than like 10k, that's kind of stretching it. If we can have more than 5k, then I guess that's good enough for me. Let's run over here. More shots on her. Here we go. She's going to hit me with that. There's my Q. I'm actually off of the map. How much knockback does she have on that? That explains a lot. I have not gone against knockback Ash in forever. I don't know if that's my exact loadout. If it isn't, it's very damn close. So shout out to her for actually just knocking me off. I'm not even mad about that. I don't know how you can be mad about getting knocked off of the map. I should have been paying more goddamn attention. I did not realize she had 40% freaking increased knockback. That just completely surprised me. I thought I was going to stop, but I just kind of kept going. Let's get rid of this Zin. Nice. He's actually out. Let's go and stand up here and get rid of the Ash, maybe. I'm trying to pay attention to, like, if I'm healing people and stuff, but there's not really a good indication for when I am. It would be nice if there was some sort of UI thing uh, somewhere that kind of indicated if I was getting a heal. He just went uh, for the ult. I think I did just dodge that Genos one. There's my Q. Get some more shots up there on him. I'm trying to melt him. He's very low, actually. I'm just getting a decent amount of healing from Fury and also my own stuff. Let's run around. I just took so much. I'm out. I'm straight out again. Oh, no. No, I'm not. This is in, is in my way. I am very low, but thank you for uh, the heals team. There's my Q. Your Q does also heal your team up, which is something I didn't mention and didn't know until I tried it out in the target practice, is your Q obviously gives you like an instant 2k on your armor, and that also gives like a 1k heal to your teammates. It's not explained anywhere, but basically any healing you get uh, from your Q or your little orbs that you pick up is 50% passed onto your team. So that's why that 2k gets turned into 1k. It doesn't explain it anywhere. It's something you don't even know from trying it, but let's uh, maybe go for an ult play. Do I go for an ult play? I'm gonna go for an ult play. Ash just went straight into me. Thank you for helping secure my free kill. I am possibly dead here. I don't know if they're gonna chase me or not. I'm gonna try and get a reload in and stay behind this little rock. I think I'm fine. I hear footsteps. Hello, Zin. Oh, what's probably my G? Let me just spin up my minigun real quick. I think we can probably make a good effort on this push. That knockback is ridiculous. I'm not even mad, though. It's just fun. Going against knockback is always a laugh. Let's use Eureka again for damage reduction. More shots. She's just going to do that again. I'm hitting like a ceiling of something, but uh, she is still up. How did she not die to Burmol Satyra? I tried to run away. I died. If I'd have used it a bit earlier, if I predicted that, I'd have been fine. I should have really seen the setup there. I'm going to get a bit of resilience to counter it. That's definitely the right thing to do here. Well, there we go. Push failed. The Kinesa is definitely the biggest problem right now, mainly because me and Khan can't freely sit on the point. Tyra obviously can't really deal with the Ganesa. Moji's the only person who really can do her very much, and I think they're doing a pretty good job of kind of covering her. I can safely say already that in this first round, I have not even been able to tell that I have a talent. It just feels like I haven't picked one. So far, the heal has not been noticeable at all, other than like one situation where I used my Q to heal up the Tyra a little bit. Maybe that's the more useful way to use it, is now your Q actually kind of heals for the same as a Khan Q. So that's an interesting way to look at it as well, is it adds like a 1k burst heal to your Q when you use it. So that's kind of nice, but uh, the problem is the radius on it isn't very large. I think it's probably the same or maybe a little bit smaller even than uh, the Khan's one. Khan and Ram's names are so similar that I just get them messed up nearly constantly. I think they were saying that we should have flanked the Knesset there in the chat. I'm going to just run in and help this Ram real quick. Hello, Genos. There's my right click. Let's make sure knessa has gone first. There we go. We can probably also get rid of this Genos. There's a couple more dinks for him. Hello, Ash. Whoa, okay. Khan grabs. Sure. There's more little shots. See, even though the Ram is this close to me, I'm not actually healing him. And there goes our Khan, actually. He died to uh, the Ash. You actually got rid of him. Okay, me and Fury are here. I'm just going to run in on this Zin because I've had enough of his shiz, I guess. There's 700. There's some shots. I'm just going to fire into his counter. It's whatever. He's already gone. Let's get some little dinks over there on the Knesset. It's just kind of hard to hold the point because of this Knesset, but I'm firing some shots into her here. I think she's probably gone if she teleports away. Oh, no. She healed up from it. I was not paying attention. Am I dead here? I think I might be dead here. I'm going to see if I can run around. I may be fine. Oh, that's weird. Oh, I've never gone on one of those crystals before with my F. At least not trying to go upwards. That was strange. Can I use my Q? I'm trying to spam it. It's still on cooldown. Am I dead? Am I dead? No, we killed him. How did I survive that? There's a Q. Uh, okay, I don't know how the hell I lived. Objective captured. <laughs> Honestly, thought I was such a goner there. I have no idea how I survived. There goes my little minigun as we run in. Is anybody even here? Hello, Ash. There's my right click. I'm just making sure I stay on the inside so I don't get knocked back. But even with 25% resilience, I'm countering you a pretty hard or not 25%, 30%. What am I talking about? I use my Q. There's my right click for damage reduction. Still on, boys. One tier of resilience seems to be all it requires to freaking counter knockback. Ash, she is gone. That took forever. Let's run not inwards because I have 2k health. Let's not run inwards. Let's go back to the Fury and heal up. That's a sensible play. That Knesset just took like freaking 3k off my health. That sucked. Let's use the right click and just try and start and learn some shots. There is a Q that Drogo's is super low. Tracking on point. I might die. Am I good? No, we're, we're good. Can I hit the Sash, please? There's the angle. There's a hit on her. There's a hit on him as well. Oh, tracking on point, boys. She is gone. That is not a she. That is a he. That is a, a Genos, I think. Let's use a Q and get rid of the Zin. Right click for damage reduction. Totally something I needed. Right, let's get rid of Drogo's 
go goes again. Are you even human? You just made two weird plays in a row. You were playing really well early on. I'm dead. It doesn't matter. We got the push. 3 1. Sick. Didn't think we'd get that, but playing super aggressively actually paid off. Team is on a mad streak other than me because I just uh, died right there. We'll go ahead and finish off Cauterize. Do I maybe get Rejuvenate or do I wait and get more Resilience? I'm going to get more Resilience. I think that makes uh, sense. We have got a lot of Haven. Haven could also work. Yeah, screw it. I'm actually going to get Haven. That should help us with uh, the Ganesha. I'm not too worried about being knocked off with just two on Resilience because it counters a knockback. Some people suggested to me a little while ago actually in the comments that Resilience shouldn't counter knockback, which is an interesting thought because knockback is only a thing that's super useful on the maps where you can throw people off. It's still annoying on the other maps, but it's nowhere near as bad when you can't actually throw people off the map. So that'd be an interesting thing to think about. Like if Resilience just didn't counter knockup and then knockup was just a little bit more crazy. That's a fun idea. I don't think they'd ever do it, but also found out in this match that Khan's F is super buggy on the crystals. So I need to kind of avoid them unless I'm kind of going downwards. I am probably dead or can I F? I probably should have just tried to F away. What, what was that play for me? I didn't even think to run away there. Probably could have wound up my F and actually got on away, but uh, I guess it's fine because he died for it. Then the Ash just died uh, trying to go for her ult. Zin is there with uh, the Khan who's just pushing up mad aggressive because he's just putting pressure on the Kinesa. He killed uh, the Genos. I think we might actually have the 4-1 here. I feel like I've been mainly like a supporting tank here. The Khan has definitely been the main one if you ask me. Let's get some more hits on him. Oh, stun clutch. There we go. More hits on this Kinesa. She's just getting free damage on me, although it's very hard to headshot Khan, so she's getting kind of screwed. Is she dead? I think I can probably kill her. And she's not gone, but I'm just going to run in. I'm going to go run in on this Kinesa. Get a BM killed. That is another bad mana play. In every video for like the past three days, I've made like a, a play that would make people salty, and I just did another one with that Kinesa. I just ran in on her with my F to deal like 100 damage. Can we kill uh, this Zin? I don't really see him surviving here. He's moving around like a Beyblade, but he's still uh, dead. Shout outs to you if you remember Beyblade. Do they still exist? A Beyblade still a thing? Why am I having this conversation in the middle of a Paladin's video? There is the victory. All five of us on the point looking majestic. What was the score? 4 1? Was it 4 1? I can't remember. I think it was 4 1, but Tyra has top play. Not really sure what this is going to be, but I like the skin. She's looking good. Uh, she's all the way over here, or is this just a camera bug? I, I don't know what I'm looking at. I don't know if she's cheating or if it's a camera bug. I'm pretty sure it's a camera bug because she just got Genos gripped. This looks really, really weird. I've I, I have no idea what's going on. My brain my brain has just melted into like a, a tissue paper thing. <laughs> What? So there we go. There are the stats for game one. Feel like we did pretty decent overall, like 11, 4, 13, 10 streak, and 66 seconds on the point, 55k damage. Overall, is not a bad stat whatsoever, but healing wise, we did pretty crappy. 5.5k. We had less than a Khan who wasn't going for a talent to buff out healing in any sort of way. I wasn't like straying away from the team. I was doing like literally the way I thought I should have been playing for the talent, and it really didn't pay off there. Khan was reducing his cooldown by 5 seconds, so he was healing as much as he could there, but he still beat us out by like a Law. Shouts also to Second Paladin. He called me out in the chat. That was uh, the Zin. A couple people on our side obviously called me out as well. The Khan did pretty damn good. Overall, he has less damage than us, which is surprising, but he has more healing, which is kind of funny. Tyra did pretty damn good. 14, 365k. She shredded there, and so I did the Moji. 12, 4. Not that much damage, but you know, she did well. 12, 4 isn't a bad stat. The Drogos did pretty good. Uh, the Zin was a little bit weird. Kanessa definitely the biggest issue. She played well, but she didn't really get any kills. She was kind of just poke damaging people. So Genos did okay, although he doesn't have that much healing, and Ash I did pretty decent. Really feel like like we won that mainly because of team comp. Fury was healing for a lot. Me and Khan were playing super aggressively as tanks. Tyra was shredding through them and finishing people off. And so it was the Moji. Overall, a good game. We'll go ahead and queue for another one. I don't want to do this on TDM. I want to do this on just Onslaught or Siege. I'm actually going to queue for Onslaught because I feel like maybe King of the Hill or Onslaught might be better for this. Maybe that's the situation they're thinking of for it in the match where like you're all kind of around one objective. Even then, though, the heal and the radius really isn't all that great. But I can see why they've made it the way they've made it because if they doubled it, it would just be ridiculously strong. If it was 80 units and 200 health, it would be ridiculous. I think it would be really, really easy to make this talent too good, so I'm kind of glad they went with the approach of doing it a little bit under and then possibly buffing it in the future. I would love to see this buffed because I cannot see a situation where people will pick this over Earth Splitter and Enforcer. All of his talents currently are counterable, which is something that not that many characters have from the top of my head that I can think of. Subservience countered by Quarter Eyes, obviously. Earth Splitter countered by CC Reduction, although even then it's technically not a counter on the talent. It's more of a counter on the ultimates. I don't know if that counts. That was a freaking weird sentence. And then Enforcer is countered by CC, but again, that's not really the talent that's being countered, it's more so uh, the actual ability. So I don't know if these two count as being directly countered, but Subservience uh, definitely does because it's a heal, and that is directly being countered by uh, Cauterize. So I think overall, it's just the worst talent out of these two, but even if you don't compare it, it's still just not a great talent, and I hope that they do fiddle with it in the future, but definitely whilst keeping in mind the fact that it would be so easy to make this a uh, really too good. <laughs> it's also quite funny to me that this talent was nearly instantly like thrown away. It didn't have like a grace period like some of the other talents have uh, with new characters where people think it's good people use it and then everybody kind of realizes oh it's not that great this other one's better this one has just been kind of diagnosed as not being uh, that great straight from the bat like i haven't seen anybody with this
this. I've seen barely anybody talking about it. Other than you guys that asked me to make a video on it, I have not really ever heard or seen of this town. Let me know your experience. Do you see this town ever? If you're on console, I'd specifically be interested because you're on a completely different uh, platform. I will be making a Paladins video on Switch sometime soon, probably earlier on in the next year or maybe even in December. I don't know. I want to play Paladins on Switch. I just need to set everything up. I talked about it in a different video. But team-wise, we've got a May of Dredge, Victor and Ying. We've got King of the Hill, Magic's Archives. Good situation for this to be in. I imagine we're up against Moji, Damba Khan, a Victor and a Lian. Go ahead and grab uh, the town and I guess the same loadout. I don't really feel like max health will help me. I feel like I'm better off just reducing the coordinate of the right click. So I'll go for the same one again. Just because I'm trying to hold a point and stuff. If you're going for like a TDM, probably wouldn't make as much sense. Maybe. I don't really know. They're both good. It really doesn't make too big of a difference. We'll go ahead and grab Cauterize to start. Yeah, I feel like Cauterize yeah. makes sense. Alacrity, Lian. That's interesting. Boom, boom. Cardio. Yeah, definitely going for Cauterize. Uh, cardio on ours as well. Scuttle, Life Exchange, and Cat Burglar. And then Vortex Grip on the Khan. Okay, I don't know if I'm going to need to grab Resilience for that. I probably will. Kind of funny that both of the victors are going for cardio. It wouldn't be really what I'd recommend here, but hey, you play how you want to play. That is two enemies already firing on me. Okay, we can just get some shots off. Hello, Khan. Go ahead and use a Q. Will they come round to me? They should do, right? Nope. Okay, there we go. They're finally coming through. Use a right click for the damage reduction. I'm having to play kind of on the side here. I don't know why he's standing still to fire at me. That is a tactic that I don't think is very big brain at all. That Lian is nearly gone. So am I. I should have used my Q. I didn't realize it was off of cooldown. That was basically just me unloading 200 ammo until I inevitably die. Victor is going for like a flank type thing. Let's go ahead and use an F and run in. Moji's down there causing some pain. I'm going to see if I can get like some sort of F play. I just got caught. Just a little bit shot. I'm going to stop firing at you and then fire it when your Q's down. That was a pretty good play. I don't want to stop firing because that slows down his attack speed. So I just looked away. You've got 500 ammo. You might as well. There's the right click. I don't know why you're standing still to fire at me. That seems like such a weird freaking play tactic. I don't really know why he's doing that. Khan, you're really throwing me off by just standing still and letting me get free damage. Hello, Victor. You are completely dead. You just walked into a wall. What? I'm going to go for an ult. See if we can maybe get the Leanne back there. There we go. And she is not gone. There's my Q. Can we heal up the team? There we go. That was all right. I actually got a decent heal on that mave there. Maybe this is a better situation to use it in. Maybe the whole reason it sucked before is because we were going for siege, but probably not. If I can get more than like seven and a half K, honestly, I'll be happy because that makes it like nearly on par with like a Khan Q, which is a pretty decent heal. There's a like three man hit. There's my right click. See if we can maybe kill these dudes. Everybody is looking at me and then Khan eventually grabbed me to kill me. Didn't realize my team would all kind of just stop firing at them and then we'd all just die. I'm not going to run into three of you. I'm going to go round and run into you. Oh no, this is bad. Uh, this is bad. I'm totally dead. I'm totally dead or maybe not. There's a Q. There we go. You're gone. How did you just take so much damage? I'm guessing it was the Maeve. Use a right click and just start unloading some shots. She's low. There we go. She's gone. Get some more hits on this Khan. Do I run around and just go kill him? I'm just going to run around and go kill him. Never mind, Victor did it. We'll cancel and sit on the point. I just need to be landing shots as often as I can and leaving little stuff around. We'll use a Q to see if we can heal up the people behind us. There's uh, my right click, get some damage reduction and some shots. There we go, We're tracking on point. Maybe we can kill this Damba. Do I run in on Damba? I feel like this is a bad idea. Oh, well, we dinked him. I'm just going to run back. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and finish this off. Nearly got enough for a little bit of resilience. We finally do. Thank you for whoever just killed the person who got me some credits. You are nearly gone. I'm just going to sit here and just headshot you. I don't know what the hell that Khan's doing. Get some headshots on the Moji too. You just rubber banded hard. There's my right click. This is such a weird game. There's a kill. I'm going to F this way. There we go. He is gone. Well done, uh, Maeve. I am honestly just very confused with how this game's going. There's my Q. Can I kill this Leanne, please? Leanne, can you just stop? Oh, she's ulting. I'm just going to keep looking at you and firing because you've only got 50% damage mitigation now. The new Leanne ult feels so much better to go against. It probably doesn't feel as good to play, but man, it's so much easier to deal uh, with Leanne when she can't just win by hitting the goddamn E button. We'll go ahead and go for an ult. There we go. Nice. See if we can get rid of these dudes. I think I got like a two or three man stun. Use a right click for the ammo immunity. See if we can kill the Leanne. That was another intentional rhyme or unintentional rhyme. She is gone. There's a Q. Fully heal up the Maeve. See, it is kind of useful in some situations. I just don't think it's as good as his other talents. There's some more little dinks over there on him. Let's use a Q. There we go. I think I healed him up for a little bit. We'll F and go in on him. I feel like I can probably go kill him, although he's going to heal up from freaking cardio. Maybe I can just slam dunk on him. There we go. I didn't hit him with the F, but I did just slam dunk on top of him, and he is gone. We've got Max Court, so that's good. I am totally still dead, though. There is a Q. Is this Rom gone? I don't really know uh, what play he's making. Also, he's not a Rom. I'm a Rom, so I don't know why I'm calling him the same thing. Am I dead? I'm trying to juke I'm actually still up. Moji didn't even get me there. I died after I came out of the cookie. I don't think the dredge is playing, considering what I'm watching. All right, yeah, we're definitely screwed if that dredge isn't here. Technically, though, we have a 100-point lead, so if we can just keep it, then maybe we'll still win with a bot. Oh, he's so low. Hello, uh, Rom. No, I am Rom. I'm so bad with names. I think I literally said it in yesterday or the day before was a video where I, I realized the character, but my mouth just disagrees with what my brain sees. There is the death, because Rom just ought me off the map. Not a Rom. It's a con. Jesus Christ. It definitely happens more when I'm, like, focusing on the game 
game because I go into like autopilot mode, but even when I'm not focusing that much, I still get him wrong. Let's get some more shots on him. Am I dead? No, I'm just stunned, but that didn't really do much because we have CC immunity. I am still dead. They're definitely closing the gap now that we don't have a dredge. I don't know why you're running in, Victor. That was a very weird play. Can I kill you, please? Where are you running? You're literally just gonna go there. I do not understand what this match is. Can we kill the ROM? Yes, we can. Hello, Leon. I'm just gonna straight take that all to the face like a real freaking hard ROM boy. I am cookied. Am I gonna be able to juke it? I juked the wrong way, but that's fine because I'm out of it. CC reduction clutch. She is gone. I am probably dead too. Ying is hitting me with the ult. There's the double hit with the F. He is dead. You're gonna stun me for like a millisecond, but you're still gone. Can I get around this corner, please, and just finish him off, please? There we go. He is out. All right, let's get more Haven. Resilience has come through super clutch so far. There goes Victor. Khan is just standing around the corner on like no health. I'm a run in on this Moji. Yeah, we definitely don't have a dredge. The dredge is definitely a bot, but we're somehow still winning this by like 50 points. Hello, Leanne. There's some more dinks for you. You are gone any second. There we go. Team finished her off. Hello, Moji. You really want to do this fight, huh? Don't know why you thought that was a good idea. I don't really understand why the Khan stands still to fire. That's one of the weirdest things I've ever had to like kind of go against. It throws me off because I'm expecting him to juke and he just doesn't. There's like a three man hit. Let's go for the ult, boys. There we go. That's a two man. Let's use the Q again. Let's kill Dan, but he's out. Can I also kill this Moji? No, I'm dead. Although we did basically just wipe the whole team. Four of them just died because of that play. So honestly, I'll take one for the team and accept it. Do we get a life rip or what do I get? I honestly don't know what to get here. I feel like life rip could be good, but a kill to heal. Yeah, let's go kill to heal. I feel like that's going to be more useful. Bad Dredge is definitely a bot, and yet somehow we're winning this. That Leon is just ulting me square in the head. I have 6,000 health. Why Why do you keep making that play? <laughs> yeah, Dredge is definitely not a person. There's a Q to make our heal stat look a little bit better. We'll just keep getting some shots. That's stun. Again, not going to do anything. Moji, please, no. I tried to juke it, but you just effed me into a wall. God damn it. That's a sentence I never want to say again. We are 150 points ahead with a bot dredge. I do not know how we're doing this, but we somehow are. He just ulted. Maybe he's not a bot. I don't know. I'm honestly not sure. The movements he's making are super like bot-like, but he might just be playing on like a, a controller and he's not that good. I honestly don't know. He is gone. There's the victory. I was not paying attention to the score. Sure. We don't really deserve that win, but I guess we have it. They weren't playing that well, so maybe we do. I don't know. Leanne is the girl who would top play with the summer skin. The top play is her uh, getting rid of the mave, I'm guessing here. I don't know. This is where I ran in after the victor and then I think just like kind of landed on top of him and killed him. So it's Leanne landing some auto aim abilities, getting a couple hits on the Ying and that's the top play. I don't know if I die here. I think I probably do, but I don't know why that was chosen as top play. That was what, like one kill and like three assists? Well, I accidentally clicked home. It's fine. I just went in my history and I can bring it back up again. Stat wise, we shredded. I did not realize I did that well. 18-7, uh, 22, 13 streak, 150 seconds on the point, 93k damage, which is highest in that game, 1400 shielding and then 10k, nearly 11k healing, which is actually not that bad. I'm honestly quite happy with that. It completely destroys the enemy Khan because he was playing uh, really, really weirdly. But overall, I could probably sum up this talent as being about as good as the heal on Khan's Q. It's very, very similar. You can buff out your Q a little bit by giving yourself damage reduction. You don't get immunity like you do uh, with Khan's one. And I don't feel like the area is as big and it's just a little bit more awkward overall. But there's technically more healing potential because if you grab your little orbs, you heal with those as well. So I would say this is about as good as a Khan Q. Maybe a little bit worse, but it's very, very comparable. Although Khan has it built in and you have to grab a talent for it, which is the big uh, differential there or difference maker. I don't know what words I want to use today. Going through the stats though, Victor shredded 22 to 6, 76k. Did not realize he was playing well. Maeve did pretty good, 14, 9, 56k. Ying did pretty decent, nothing crazy, but pretty decent. And then Dredge was really, really weird, 3, 8, 14k. Don't know if he was playing and just kind of awkward with his movement or if he was a bot. Honestly, there probably wouldn't have been that much difference between whichever one of those two it was. And for some reason, the names for these three don't show up. That's a little bit weird, but Victor did fine about the same as our Victor with the worst stat. Uh, Moji did okay, 614, 57k. The damage are pretty decent. Uh, Khan was a bit weird and Leanne did pretty well, probably the best on their side alongside uh, Victor. I honestly feel like we completely won that game because of the objective. As you can see, we played the objective like three times more than anybody on their side did. They were trying to hold the point, but their Khan was really inexperienced. I was able to hold it pretty easily. Dredge bot I was running on the point as well. He's got 95. I feel like we won that overall because of the objective time and the fact that we were just able to finish off more people. The KDs on our side are way more positive than theirs are. There we go. That was Ram with the talent that I wouldn't really say is all that good. It's about, like I said, comparable to a Khan Q in a talent, and it's just not really worth grabbing when you compare it to the other two, in my opinion. If your experience is different, that's perfectly fine. I can obviously only talk from my standpoint. I can't really see a situation where I'd grab this just because it is so uh, team dependent, and the other two were just overall probably a little bit better, in my opinion. And I've also not seen anybody else grab it. I don't know if it's because it's like the last talent you unlock, which I think it is. So maybe that's another reason why. 
I haven't seen it, that could be it. I don't know. Be sure to let me know uh, your thoughts and your experience with it in the comment section down below. If you played with it, did you like it? Did you dislike it? Have you seen it uh, very often? Because, like I said, I haven't really seen it at all. Uh, thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Of course, let me know what you want to see me do next. I'll see you all very, very soon. And as always, stay frost there.